Pea la Luca. Vale. Sawa, sawa, sawa. Atukubeba tamete. We are live. Roba si ni cheesy ni ni kama kubeba. Roba kwa ni sawa. We are live. Check check one two one two my. Hey, isi hey, ni dogo? Isi ni kidogo. Jo tutatosha. Wanakuja hapa 1 2 3 Four, Eh ni ni hawa ni hawa ni hawa <laughs> Ni hawa Cheki Ambia yeye anataka visa hii ndio robaka hapa katikati Ndio Ka visa hii ndio robaka hapa katikati Ndio Sawa Kwa hivyo Ya nywele wewe Ya nywele unaoni <laughs> Jamaa <laughs> 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 
If it's on, then it's on. What up? Mic check, mic check. Mic check, mic check, one, two. Mic check, mic check, one, two. Mic check, mic check, Mike check, Mike check, Mike check. Mike check, one, two, one, two, one, two. Mike check, Mike check. Mike check, one, two, one, two. Mike check. Live. Kenya Academy of Sports. Live broadcast. <laughs> Proudly brought to you by Foul and One. Yeah. This is another exciting day. Basketball action. On a back to back to back day. Uh, we are having the Under Kenya Academy of Sports Talanta Hela uh, tournament. Under 19 final. Under 19 finals. Dagoretti versus This is Dagoretti versus Highway. Highway. Which team are you picking? I'm going with Dagoretti. <laughs> I'm going I'm going with Highway. This live broadcast is brought to you courtesy of the Foul and One podcast. Foul and One Media. Dagoretti High School. Highway. Jamaka Mekauka Dagoretti High School. Bigger picture you is called Shikio. Not a bit. What are uh, I think Dagoretti has the advantage because yeah. they play in the Nairobi Basketball League. Yes, a very competitive league. Yes. And uh, I think they've been in the semi final in the Nairobi Basketball but League. But I thought Highway High School also is in. I'm not the sure. Nairobi Basketball. I'm not, not so sure, but League. for sure, I know. I think they're there. So it will be a, a firework. It's going to be Battle of the Titans. 
<laughs> so Good to see young kids starting this early. Yeah, this is us nurturing uh, our future talent. Yes, we need uh, our future Michael Jordan <laughs> and the LeBron James. Yeah, uh, we'll be here today. And I think from this concept, they can get a national under 19 team. Yes. So is it, so we'll have different categories. Under 16 played earlier. Yes. I think Highway were the champions of under 16. Yeah. So Highway, Highway were the champions of the under 16 tournament. Yes. So uh, Dagoretti brings in a lot of experience. Yeah. They bring a lot of experience. Competing with the... Uh, so highway uh for 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 the highway team uh we have uh, number four andrew awet number five is uh Spe Speon Lewy. number six is paul quart uh number seven we have maxwell ouma prince onyone at number eight jonathan kamau coming in at number nine Raymond Mwangi, number 11. Hosea Moses, number 12. Adrian uh, Tosten, at number 13. Danson Kimingi, at number 14. And John Leach, at number 15. Uh, for Dagoretti High School, we have uh, Noah, Noah Rodman, number 4. Uh, Chuor Mayok, Manyok, at number 5. James Kimani at number six, Wall Chuol at number seven, Gift Fidel at number eight, Sean Claren at number nine, Dual John at number ten, Piston at number eleven, Victor Bryan at number twelve, Fidel Osudo number thirteen, Ronnie Ocheng at fourteen, and Tom Len Wambu at number fifteen. And the action is on. Yes. Uh, highway High School controlling. The ball. And that is number four. Aww. Offensive charge. Offensive. That is an offensive call. We're expecting a lot of fireworks in this game today. We're expecting a lot of fireworks. It's going to be a very fast paced game. Yeah, and I think uh, the Nagoretti are going on a 3 2 defense. Yeah. Dagoretti going for the 3-2 defense zone. Highway uh, seem to be very composed. And they are number 12 from Highway. Drawing in the first blood. And that was a very uh, beautiful jumper from num number 12. That is Hosea Moses. Hosea Moses. With the first bucket. With the first bucket yeah. of the game. Another jumper. No good. Dagoretti controlling. Trying to get number seven on that long pass, but it was a turnover. A block. That is a block. And I think uh, Dagoretti have a height advantage. That was Gift that, Noel with the block. Gift Noel with that very beautiful block. Offensive rebound. Hosea is shooting with a fadeaway. He's shooting fadeaway <laughs> jumpers very confidently. Yeah. And we are level. It's a tie ball game. Number seven, Dagoretti. That's Kual Chual. Kual Chual. Leveling things up for us. <laughs> Another jumper, and uh, uh, I see to be they are jumpers. settling on jumpers. Yeah. Uh, despite having some size, we expect them to drive, but they are shooting the ball. Fast and break. there is transition. the fast break, transition ball. Good control of the body. <laughs> that is good body control by number four. Highway. Highway number four. No, that is Dagoretti. Dagoretti Noah, number Noah, four. Noah Rodman. Noah Rodman. Just like Dennis Rodman. <laughs> <laughs> Good control of the body. Two. Two.
What a pass. Tried to finish it off the glass, but it went in and out. And now Highway with the ball. Good ball good, movement. Good. That is some very good ball movement. And what? I think they're what? settling on the jumpers because they have uh, enough size inside. Yeah. To and crash I think for the both teams are well coached. At least you can see some you can structure. see some structure in the game. Yeah. That's why we have these finals. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't get that drive. That was a strong drive. That is a very good block. Good defense from Highway High School. And that's a travel, travel violation. That was a good clean block by number, by number four. Andrew number Awet. four, Andrew Awet. You can see he has some size. Yeah, I think he's the tallest guy. In the, the, the tallest player on court right now. I think both teams are trying to feel. Oh. Yeah. Still trying, like is still trying to settle down on the game. The game is a bit slow right now. Missing shots. Uh, missing layups. But we are hoping as time goes on. They should catch up. They are going to catch up. And there is a three. It's an air ball. Both teams still settling on the threes. And the jumpers. And two ups. Four two. Dagoretti four. Highway two. Oh. What a block. Two handed block. <laughs> That's a very rare block. I think for, for Dagoretti to get in that paint, they'll have to shoot outside to bring Awet out of the paint. Yes. He is becoming a big problem yeah. in the paint for them. But he's doing a very good job. Noah Rodman seems to be like the go-to guy for Dagoretti. For Dagoretti. Noah Rodman missed one. Good. Rebound. <laughs> and those are, those are three points in one Easy. play. Yeah. I think uh, Highway seem to have a problem uh, with boxing out. They are not boxing out. And that's the first three. First three of the game. Coming from number 13. And that is the Highway High School. And he gets a steal. That's Adrian Tosti. Two on one. Number 13 easy basket. Again. So Andrew, Adrian Tosti has just scored five easy points. Five easy points from Adrian. And as he said, uh, Boblins, as you said, yeah. the team uh, seems to be well coached. Yeah. Uh, so, both of them are displaying high IQ basketball. Yeah. Uh, good ball movement. Relax with the ball. Ball is going. Yes. And uh, I think uh, with this direction, we, I see basketball has a future. Yeah. And there's a jumper. No good. And he went, he ran straight into the defense. They get a steal, Ooh. and the referee calls foul. a foul. Uh, looking at the previous statistics, yeah. uh, Dagoretti have been shooting around 32% from the field, yeah. and Highway have been shooting around 35% on the field, yeah. and they are also shooting at a high percentage on the line. And I think that is shows the good coaching that is going on there. They yeah. trust their shots. Yes. I think, apart from the transition, most of these teams want to shoot. Yes. The three ball and the and Robert, what can you say about the how the game has evolved from the post play to shooting threes? Uh, I think the the game has evolved uh, mainly because uh, most of the young players coming coming in the game coming in the game uh, right now uh, work on. Of various aspects of their game. Yeah. You don't need to be that traditional big yeah. who goes to the paint and wait for the ball. Yeah. You have to know how to a handle stretch. the ball, stretch the floor, yeah. shoot, have a good IQ and feel for the game. And I think 
Uh, what we are looking at right now is exactly what we are seeing even from the NBA. Yeah, and, uh, for me, I wanted to bring the aspect of NBA. I think most of these kids look model their games from those from NBA the, players. From the NBA players. And uh, right now, I think the three-point line is the most dangerous. The uh, most dangerous place right now to to make any error zone. Yeah. And that's a fast break. No block. Took his own rebound. And made it. And yeah, uh, he stayed with the play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that is what uh, kids are taught this day. You have stick to stay, with, stick with the play. Seven, nine. Jumper no good. Highway control the rebound. And they are doing a very good job on the glass. On the glass. And they have the lead right now. At they nine, have seven. the lead right now. And that's another three. No good. Another Away rebound. Away to the rebound and the back. And another bucket. And it is going to be a problem. It's going to be a problem. <laughs> He's bringing in the size and uh, uh, he's finishing yeah. under the rim and he gets a steal. Another good basket. Another good basket. And it started from number four again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got the steal, a wet, and initiated the, the play and then finished the basket. If you are having any Premier League clubs looking at this under 19, there are good prospects for teams that are in the Premier League. Yeah, yeah. Two, one. Yes, yes, yes. I think these kids should be transition immediately from high school to, into club into basketball. Into club basketball. So that they continue nurturing their talents. As early as now. Yes. Yeah. We all know what Luka Doncic has been doing in the NBA. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he started very early and it's paying off. Yeah. So we will expect the same. Uh, from Dagoretti, I like Rodman number four. He's everywhere. He tr is truly playing that the 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 original Rodman, like Dennis Rodman. Dennis Rodman. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good to see him uh, putting on a show for his team. Yeah. And of course, I know they are going to need him. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, down the stretch, because I I feel like we are going to have a very close game. Yes. Uh, this team look like they are evenly matched, and uh, the level of basketball they are playing. Uh, to me, I feel they can even compete with bigger, bigger, bigger schools yeah. in Eastern Central Africa. And uh, normally in Kenya, the big schools are uh, Maseno. Maseno. Uh, we have uh, uh, Laser Hill. Laser Hill. Saint Austin's. Saint Austin's. Those are Saint Austin's. Big... Still, still. Yeah, I think those are some of the big names in the yeah, secondary yeah. scene. Yes. Uh, St. Austin used to have the from 5 and from 6. Yeah. Uh, I remember in my heydays. <laughs> they used to bring from 5 and from 6. Yes. <laughs> and they will give you a Tara a beating. Tara beating. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that rule still applies uh, to this day. Not so sure, but uh, we were in high school 10 plus years. <laughs> <laughs> oh. But it's good to see this. Yeah. Uh, this is very good for Kenyan basketball. Broadman being very aggressive. As you can see, he's driving fearlessly. Uh, taking the ball to the defenders every time. Funny enough, this game is around seven minutes in and we have not have any sub, any timeout. Once no subs, no timeouts. Are well conditioned. Well conditioned, well trained, well coached. Yeah. And they're also well disciplined, yeah, yeah, yeah. as you can see. That's a very good drive, but he couldn't finish. And I think that has been the biggest problem for both teams. They are not finishing the easy buckets on the drives. That's a hesitation move. There you go. As you can see, Shaurimoyo Bucks is in the house. The Bucks are in the building yeah. from Shaurimoyo. Also coming to enjoy the game. We know kids, kids learn from kids. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's easy to pick something from. Yeah, that's that's way, way, way easy. And I, I can see we have a sizable crowd. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, guys are still trickling in. 
the ladies look nice today <laughs> sunday fun day it's a good event for the whole family uh remember uh, right after this we are going to have the battle of the titans exhibition game it's called betlem in the nyayo stadium <laughs> <laughs> we are going to have uh the biggest uh, exhibition game yes uh, you say east of east of the limpopo <laughs> south of the sahara and central of the indian ocean <laughs> nairobi city thunder playing host to the phenomenal phenoms uh, we are we are excited to have that game later on so end of first quarter highway highway leading, leading to 11 15 to 11 dagoretti high uh, as expected uh, it was going to be a close a game a close game yeah do you think highway wants to pick both the under 16 and under 19 yeah uh, looking at how they are playing right now they want it all they want it all they can't uh, go to bully the under 16s if they lose this game highway. yeah they can <laughs> Uh, we are we are hoping for for a showdown i've uh, seen some big names in the house already big names in the building yeah for the next game for the next game that's a player for the phenomenal sir phenomenal phenoms uh coming in with a lot of mbwembo I also see the whole Tanda is already in the house. Nairobi City Tanda already in the building. I see Kenyan International Albert Odero. Yeah. In the building. Uh, we have Griffin Ligari also. Kenya one in the building. Yeah. I see Larry Shavanga. Ariel Otega. Ariel Otega in the building. Fidelis Okoth. Big man in the building. Uh, also on the VIP section I see the chairman Kenya Basketball Federation yeah. Ronnie Owino <laughs> aka Ronnie Buda yeah in the building and so many other dignitaries we have a uh, fixture secretary for Nairobi Basketball Association Dan Oere fixture secretary fixture secretary Kale Bosewe ah uh, Kale Bosewe is there Olebo aka Olebo I see George Namake yeah I uh, think I see uh, Mr. Weringo. Weringo, yeah. Those are the OGs. The OGs. Basketball OGs. I think this will be going to be a good basketball get together from that time to the new kids on the block. Uh 254 in the building, be a district. Be a district for all the entertainment and fun later on. Shout out to the Foul and One crew. Shout out to the Foul and One crew. We have Mr. Ian Oinaina. Mada aka the Elbow Ian. <laughs> Together with uh, Anderson Mafusa. Mr. Dimes. Mr. Dimes. Uh second quarter is on. Second quarter is on and uh Bobby J. Yeah. Uh what do you expect from the second quarter of this game? I think uh Dagoretti are going to up their tempo. Yes. You can see with the first team. Yes. Uh, they are down. I know they don't they can't believe that they can be down. Yeah. But uh, uh despite coming into the the game as favorites. Favorites, yeah. Uh, of course Highway were the underdogs. But they are proving everyone wrong. Good body control from the number four again. Highway, highway are playing some very good basketball. Very, very good basketball. They are They're moving the ball, the ball, sharing the ball, moving without the ball. Yes. I went. Uh, I went. Highway. I went. Uh, I went. Uh, has, has had a very good game. Uh of course he's one of the few players who are averaging over 40% percent yeah. in the in the paint. In the, in the paint. Yes. And, and he's also shooting uh, around 72% from the free throw line. 
Is a good player. A good watch. player to watch. And I, 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 I have a feeling yeah, he'll have to go to the him bench. and Rodman. I have a feeling that Awet will have to go to the bench because that he just picked another foul. You can't hook. Yeah, you can't hook. Uh, that is his second foul, second personal. The game is yet to open up, but we have we have had some very nice plays. Yeah, yeah. There is Rodman going aggressive as usual. And number 13, the Jose. Jose is playing with a lot of confidence, handling the ball. I wait. I wait again. I wait is, is, I wait is cooking. I think he's has going for the MVP. MVP. That's a good jump, jump shot. Rodman. But couldn't get it. Right now the battle is between Rodman and Awet. Awet, yeah. Putting on a show. Good ball movement from highway. Oh, what a move. What a move. That is what a move. What a move from Jose. And I will give him the... He's, he's giving them the too strong signal. They can't guard him. He made that basket and had some words. And he completes the three-point play. And that is just uh, too much confidence from uh, Highway. A three from Dagoretti, no good. Controlling rebound, that's a foul. That's a foul. Twenty-two twelve in favor of Highway. Highway, Highway are starting to pull away. They're pulling away. They're building that uh, gap. But it still feel like the game is still there for anyone to take. Yeah. Because it's not like Dagoretti are playing bad, bad basketball. It just look like uh, they're still not yet composed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, they are driving the ball well, shooting open jumpers. I think the coach will call a time out and remind them that they are in the final. Yeah, they this are, is this is these are the final. These are the two best teams. We need to. They need to compete. Like there is no any other game after this. And that was another easy basket from Sean Claren. What a shot. Ooh. I saw it from a mile away. That's Jonathan Good. Kamau. Jonathan Kamau with a three. And a reply. No good. 24. 24. 25, 16. There goes Awet. With a tough bucket. Awet is the problem here. And he has been making those all day. He's not rested. He's not gone to the bench played the whole game and he's carrying the team single-handedly couldn't finish the layup they Ato. took the rebound and away to the block fast break basket no good i think he just did too much he needed to pass the ball back to where Ato. it came from good man. and another block Fast break. Number no nine, good. Kamau has gotten some opportunities. Yeah, he has had a couple of free baskets that he couldn't convert. The game is yet to open up. Dagoretti. 
Dagoretti High School are uh, struggling a bit. But I think they are going to get their act together. Yeah. They need a timeout from their coach to go and talk about some of the things that they need to do in this game. And that's a foul. This live broadcast is brought to you, cut us your fallen one. Uh, like, share, subscribe, subscribe, comment, tell a friend to tell a friend. We are live in the Nyayo Gymnasium, waiting for the showdown. Uh, so, some funny aspect of this game, both coaches are not calling timeouts. No timeouts, no substitution, now we have, we have some, some substitution. substitution, but no timeout at all. No timeout. I think coaches like how things are and unfolding, unfolding uh, so far. And I think uh, Highway, Dagoretti are not converting there. Yeah, they are sense. not converting. And that is their biggest undoing. And for, there a you go. for a moment I thought he was going <laughs> for it. <laughs> you thought he was going to throw down the hammer. But that was a very good play. I wait again. I wait looking for a pass. That's a foul. I wait. Foul and it seems to be a serious foul. Yeah, it looks like he's shaken up yeah. a bit. 7-18. 27 18 in favor of Highway High School. 27-18 are the scores in favor of Highway. That's a travel. I almost say that was the zero step, <laughs> the gather step. 27-18. Highway controlling the ball. That's a good pass. That's a good pass for the first break. That's a foul. And wow! Pull and convert. I like how Rodman is playing. Rodman is having head of a game. <laughs> Just like we say, his, his name is Rod. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he has all the passion on the heart. If there are coaches out here looking at for, for young, young, young prospects, uh, he should be considered. Yes, yes. And I can see the Nairobi City Thunder team uh, going for their warm ups. Yeah. <laughs> The Goretti are working hard. Yeah, they are trying to close the gap. Uh, but uh, most of their baskets are not falling. They are they working really hard. They've also struggled in the line. That's a good pass. Couldn't finish. But the rebound is there. I think, and I, I think right now they have, they have noticed that their run game is working. Yes. Uh, they are picking from very up. And you can Hosea, see... Hosea is, Hosea, Hosea, Hosea is playing with a lot of confidence. They are just uh, picking apart the Dagoretti defense. And Dagoretti seem to be sticking with their 3-2. Yeah. Which seem to be broken. Is the old man wanted that at one? Very bad. And I think for old man, uh, once uh, he gets his rhythm, it's going to be a very long day for high high school. Because he's talking he's, to himself. He's one of those Hyping players who, himself up. who look like uh, they have come in this to win it, to win it all. And he's also going for the MVP. See, ball movement was there again. Should be a travel. A very tricky player. But a very good player to watch. He's, 
he's finding all the gaps in that defense and attacking the defense with a lot of confidence. And I think it's giving Dagoretti a lot of problems. And that's a foul. And he missed his first free throw. Gift Fidel. That is Gift Fidel. Uh, made one, missed one. Hosea. Hosea turned it over, but it's an out of bounds call. This game is brought to you by the Kenya Academy of Sports in conjunction with the Talanta, Talanta Hela. Awet. Awet still operating. And is the team captain. He deservedly is Ooh. the team's captain. What a strong drive. By Aston Semen Sengema. Aston Sengema with a very strong drive. I thought it was an and one. 34 24. 31 24. 3. That's an air ball. Gift should do better on that. Yeah. And I think he has been settling on that 3. It has been a very interesting event. Uh, earlier on, we had the ladies Final. match up. Where uh, Raila Educational Raila Educational Centre uh, emerged the pictures. pictures, or is it the Victorians? Woo! All led, all led. That is Adrian. Adrian with the three. And that was a good baseline move. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was trying the great escape. But I, but I also think Awet's case is, 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 is saying he was hooked. That should be an offensive foul. That was supposed to be an offensive foul. But the referee missed it. The referee mistake is fine. And on the line, uh, we have Zengemo. Uh, he's shooting, he's shooting over 75% on the line. Missed the first one. He's a strong, aggressive player. Very good point guard, high IQ. But he missed both. And I think free throws are going to hunt the Gorinchi. To, yeah, going to hunt them. Because at the end of it, it's going to be the little things you're doing to get you the win. Awake. Jose with the three. With the three. Maybe. Air ball, good rebound. I thought he was fouled there. But the referee is being caught. Dagoretti with the ball. Pulling control. Still Dagoretti on three. Basket not good. Dagoretti has been struggling with the three. I don't think they've hit any three. What a move. Jose is a problem. Jose. Jose is a very big problem. And he recovers back. That turnover is basically because of Jose again. And that is end of the first half. End of the first half. A uh, very interesting game. Uh, a lot to speak about. I'm sure both uh, benches are going to have uh, a lot to say to their players. 34 24. It's a 10 point, yeah, 10 point, 10 point lead for Highway. 10 point, 10 point lead for Highway. And uh, Bobby J. Yeah. Uh, what do you think is going to be the key for victory for Highway? I think they should continue doing what they are doing, sending the ball to Awet, 
Yes, he's been the difference maker. Yeah. If you play an Jose and uh, a wet pick and roll, I think they cause so much problem because yes. a wet can attack the game if he loses in that his own rhythm. Yeah. Uh, I think for Dagoretti, yeah. they should look on how to slow down a wet. Yes. And I think the coach can be thinking about sending a double team every yeah. time he gets the ball. Yeah. And I think uh, the bigs are supposed to work him harder in yeah, the bench. Yeah, yeah. Maybe try and get him in full trouble. Yes, because he already has three fouls. He has three personal yeah. fouls. Uh, if they can get him out of the game, I think it's going to be a wide open contest. Yes, yes. Uh, hoping to see what strategies they are going to bring in the second half. Um, uh, as you can see, uh, even in the highway hurdle, the players are just talking to themselves, yeah. coaching themselves. Yeah. Uh, highway, you can see their coach coaching them. Yeah. So uh, I think Highway as a core team. Yeah. Uh, the, no, the Dagoretti has a core team that has standing. Yes. Who are not the ones who have not get some piece of the action. Yeah. Are uh, just uh, <laughs> cheering on. <laughs> yeah. Cheering on their friends. Uh, it's a good thing to see these kids coaching themselves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shows um, a high level of uh, basketball knowledge. And a uh, high level of discipline as well. Yes. Uh, because you will expect a lot of chaos. Yeah. And I'm sure they are going to come uh, in the second half a uh, much better team. Uh, also, just reminding the people following us live that we have a big showdown coming yeah. uh, immediately after this. The much anticipated exhibition game. Yes, yes. Between Nairobi City Thunder and the phenomenal Phenoms. And you can uh, see some of the Phenoms. Yeah, some of the Phenom players are already uh, walking around the court, uh, making us uh, feel their presence. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be a. Uh, Interesting game. Yeah, yeah. Interesting yeah. matchup. Of, of course, very good for Kenyan basketball. Uh, this event is not uh, organized by the federation. Yeah. But as you can see, the federation is well represented. Yeah. Even the chairman himself is he's in here. the building. So we don't know if he's here for the capacity building. Yeah. Or <laughs> is it the Kenya Academy of Sports, uh, Talanta Hela, or is he here for the? I think. Big uh, game? I think he's here for both occasions. Yes. This one, primarily because the any basketball activity falls under the federation. Yes. But more importantly, because they also have to give a report to the ministry. The ministry, yes. But for the next game, yeah, I think they can pick a thing or two. Yes. That they can do within yeah, yeah, the yeah, yeah, federation. Yeah, they can use. Yeah. So that the games can be more hype. Yes. There are local league games. Yes. And. Uh, Hopefully, after this event, the chairman, as the person who is leading the federation, yeah, will have a thing or two to tell to his team. Yes, and we'll see changes in the second leg. Yes, uh, as uh, as you can see there uh, on the VIP section, we have very beautiful trophies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I think uh, so the kids are looking at the trophies and they are getting motivated. More, yeah, more excited for the. <laughs> I don't know, did you ever win any trophy during your heydays? During my heydays in Nyanza, uh, in the district level. Yes. I was a king in that court. <laughs> <laughs> but once we, went, we got to the provincial, yeah, that, we got the big names, Maseno, yeah. whooped us and we... Uh, you, 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 you didn't go past the district. We, we didn't go past the, the province. Past the province. Yeah, the district you were whooping. You were whooping people you in the whooping district. Teams. Ah, in the district you were big names. But, but once you go to the, the province, uh, now going to the nationals uh, is the national, problem. National, we never saw national. <laughs> <laughs> Those were the good old days. Good old days. Uh, the game is back. Back on. Hey, that's uh, the zero step. <laughs> that is the zero step I was telling you. The gather step. We, no, we don't was, call it a travel. That's a gather step. It was too quick for the referees to... The referees could not even... It was a travel or a zero yes. step. So, we we'll just go. It was a zero step. But I, I would, I would like to see uh, players uh, using some of these rules that yeah, have been yeah, introduced yeah. more. 
I don't know if our players and coaches uh, have the latest rule books, basketball rule books. I don't know. Uh, especially for the coaches who are coaching these young kids, I think they should be well versed with the with the with the rules, with the new rules, so that they feed these kids the the right knowledge, the right knowledge. Yeah. Fast break. And uh, as I said, uh, Dagoretti are going to come in very aggressive yeah. this quarter. It's going to be a very different team from they're, the one we saw in the they're, first they're half. They're pushing their defense up. Yeah, the uh, three-two is now a little bit high, and it's because they have noticed. They have noticed that uh, their run game is working. A wet, a wet still uh, with a very wet jumper. <laughs> And that was a beautiful three with the reply. Reply no good. And uh, I love the intensity from both teams. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, this shows us that uh, basketball is very much alive. Basket and the future alive. and the future is bright. Yeah. There goes. Number 11, Dagoretti. He has been very aggressive. Hosea. Hosea couldn't make the layup. And I think uh, Highway should go back to what they were doing in the first half, sharing of the ball. And looking for spaces, for those gaps. Basketball. Oh, the referee calls a travel. I thought that was a foul and one. Yeah, yeah that's a foul and one. <laughs> but we are not the referee. The referee. That is not on our control. As of now, a highway again sharing of the ball has been key for them. Share the ball, look for gaps and spaces. What a move, couldn't finish. That was Rodman. Away to controlling. Now there, it's been a problem. What a pass. That's an unsportsman foul from Awet, and Awet now has four fouls. So Awet can be in full trouble. Uh, if Awet is going to leave this game, uh, I think he he knows that he will have blown it wide open. Yeah, it's going to be a no man's contest. Anything can win it still. The scores are 27, 26, 26, 37. Highway in favor of highway. Uh, that's I think that is the largest lead of the game. Makes the first one. Simwanga. Aston Simwanga. Uh, he missed the second one. Uh, and our statistics are telling us he shoots 75% yeah. from the line, but he made one. Rodman for the three. No good. Attacking. I think. Uh, we, we all thought he was going for the big stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Still waiting for that big highlight. <laughs> and we're having an engagement with some of our fans. Yes. They are telling us we are doing a good job <laughs> in the statistics. Three. No good. Jose, Jose with the rebound. Jose is very active. Jose is active. Very, very active. And he has to be... Uh, active because wet has gone to the wet has gone to the bench. Now that they don't have a wet in the game, I think, I think he has to carry the load. 
He has to carry most of the load. Uh, the scores are 37-27. Miss the second one. And uh, number seven looks like he's shaken up a bit from that foul. Good basket, that's that 729. Uh, as you can see, he looks like he's shaken up. A bit limping, yeah? Yeah. Uh, maybe they should call a timeout or something. What a pass. Pull him finish. Finish, finish that. Highways ball movement. What an in and out. Couldn't finish the easy layup. 38-29 in favor of Highway High School. Nagoret is still fighting. I remember in my heydays, uh, none of these schools were beating us. Huh? You are in one of the privileged schools to go to the nationals? No, we were... <laughs> <laughs> We were just good basketball players. No, no, I'm saying, did you, go, did, you, did you go to the national finals? Uh, I never, I never left the districts. Oh, so you are? <laughs> <laughs> we are the same. We are the same. <laughs> no, you, you made it to the districts. <laughs> So Bobby J says he was in a group of schools. Uh, so us made it out of the district, you but made we it, never you made, made it out of the province, and mostly because of Maseno, Maseno School. Maseno School. Yeah. And uh, funny enough, at that time, uh, the current chairman of yes. Kenya Basketball Federation was the was principal. The coach, was the principal and, and, the coach, coach. And, the, and the head coach. And the head coach for that uh, team. They had good players. They had good players. Uh, for me, I never left the location. <laughs> I, I was always stuck in the locations because I had some of the biggest names at that time. Yeah, Kamusinga High School, French School Kamusinga, and uh, Kimilili, yeah. Bungoma High School. It was tough for us. It was very tough. Was tough. We, we used to win <laughs> against uh, very weak opponents. Yeah. <laughs> But uh, we enjoyed We enjoyed it and we are happy to see that it's coming back. It's coming back, yeah. It's coming back. And, and I like uh, that competition for, for schools uh, can bring uh, another dimension yes. of basketball. Yes. Because the rivalry, good rivalry, but again the competition goes up. The level of competition will go up. Yeah. Pato. And as you can see, Jose are putting in a lot of moves. Jose, Jose, Jose for the three. For the three. Roadman again. Roadman again. And uh, thirty eight, thirty three. Uh, I thought that Goretti are going to take advantage of. Not they, having, they are taking advantage. They are taking advantage of, of uh, our not eight. being on court. And that is the first time of you. And you can see uh, the highway coach. And also our is asking. Our is already asking if he's coming back in. Yeah. Uh, you know basketball is a game of runs. Yeah, basketball is a game of runs. And, uh, 38, 35. And I think uh, quick baskets from Nagoretti. Yeah. I've brought them back in the three. contest. They are now down three. And, and you can see now the whole bench is up. The whole bench is up. <laughs> yes. Now, uh, were they mourning? They were mourning at that time. <laughs> <laughs> we have Coach Mika in the building. <laughs> Shall we remove your back? <laughs> coach of the year. Shall we remove your back? Coach is also in the building. With the Christian Dio hat. Yeah, he sold out. 
<laughs> looking good for the event. We are happy to see all the kids from Shaurimoyo back. As usual, the biggest. I think uh, Nairobi City Thunder has the biggest fan base in the country right now. And Shaurimoyo has been known to produce some of the best basketball players. Some of the best. From time in memorial. Yeah, coming from Shaurimoyo. And I think uh, that is one of the few things that has always been passed from one generation to, to, uh, the, uh, to the next, yes. Yeah. And I, I can are, see one Waringo there in the VIP section from yes, Shaurimo. Yes, a product of Shaurimo. Yeah. Uh, we had in the under-16 finals, Ayo. Ayo is still, uh, yeah, under-16 was there. Yes. Ah, what a move what a from, move from Aston. Oh. Aston Fulinko. That was what was going to be in the highlight team. And the kids are showing us how it's done. Uh, uh, we, we, with one eye. These kids are putting on a show. And we are hoping that uh, they are going to carry it on yeah, yeah, yeah. to the next game. Down one. 38 37. 38 37. Awet is backing. But Awet he has to be very careful because he has four fouls. He can't foul. He can't at, foul. This, at this point, he can't foul. What a fake. Colin finished the basket. And that's a foul. I think I seen a Kenyan international, Victor Ochieng. Already in the building. In the building, aka Electric. He's playing for the Phenomenals. Uh, yeah, I seen him playing in the list of the Phenomenal Phenoms players. We are, hope, we are hoping he's going to give us an electric performance today. This is his home floor. And uh, number 13 seemed to be injured. Uh, we have an injury. Kamau is back. Also, we would like uh, all those watching uh, to go to our MPSA number. Support foul and one. And for the first time, Dagoret is taking the lead. 39-38. And that equals their biggest lead of the game. <laughs> oh. oh! Oh! Jose with a quick answer. He said not, not for long. Not for long. Aston in the moves and that's a travel. travel. And I think he has been called uh, two, three times. Yeah. For that track, I think uh, the coaching staff should correct that and make the adjustments. There goes Aston, confidently. The Take a lead again, 41-40. 41-40, and now they're trading baskets. Now they're trading, now the game is now The game gone. is wide open, as we say. Almost turning it over at a very crucial time. You can't afford turnovers at this right time. Now. And it's a turnover. They win it back. And now they are controlling. I think they should go back to their uh, basics. Yeah, Awet. ball movement. Awet couldn't hit the jumper. Uh, I think when he went to the bench, it uh, reduced his momentum a yeah. bit. What a pass. Couldn't finish. Oh. I think... Uh, Highway have now become cheater. Yeah. They look like they want a quick basket. A quick basket. They want to take the lead again. Yeah. And now Dagoretti is slowing the game down. Aston going to the line for two. And I think uh, when when it's not Rodman, it's Aston. It's Aston. Yeah. And uh, it's a good for tandem. Highway, if it's not Iwet, it was there. It was there. So it looks like uh, So which dynamic duo will Which dynamic duo is going to carry the day? Which dynamic duo will do what? Will carry the day. <laughs> we are engaging with our fans here. Enjoy. Some of them are, are not used to seeing people with microphones. Yeah. Sitting uh, around them. <laughs> they are even panicking. 
4240 Awet Awet is now taking matters into his own hand Awet has had a very solid game Oh Rodman was stripped off and now it's a 3 on 1 play didn't pass the ball he didn't pass the ball. I think the right play will have been to commit the defense. Yeah, and then pass to the, the open man. But I like how Aston played that defense. Went that was a uh, yeah, very mature defense yeah. from Aston. And that's a three. No good. This could be interesting. Floater. Pulling convert. Highway with it. Highway controlling. I wait. That's a very lousy layer. Lack of energy. Aston and Rodman. What a what a follow. It's Rodman. I think they under good defense. Very good defense. Very good defense. He's a very disciplined player. Yeah. Of course, a player to watch. Awet, Awet again. And a skin. And a basket. And now. It's a tie ball game. I think now we can see the agency. We can see the agency from both teams. We, we had uh, Jose Alvarado. In the building. In the building. <laughs> That was a good uh, steal and uh, conversion. Uh, the atmosphere uh, is very intense right now. Yeah, I think it's trying to. I see the fans. The buzz for the next game is starting to. The fans are coming in in their numbers. I don't know if after this game we'll have to go out. Ah uh, yeah, we, we have to we have to go and uh, talk to the two teams as they yeah, prepare. Yeah, yeah, and ask for some of the strategies they have and what we are going to expect yeah. for the showdown. It's called uh, the the game has been given a title. Uh -huh. the they battle? said it's no, it's Bedlam. 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 Bedlam in Yayo. Bedlam in Yayo. Yes, Bedlam in Yayo. I know English is a bit uh, kizumuguti. <laughs> Bedlam Inyayo. Bedlam Inyayo. Battle of the Titans. We're expecting to see a lot of international acts yeah. auditioning today. Highway and controlling. The last quarter. Awet. Awet, the danger man. And he switches the three. And uh, that, that, that is what he has been doing. It's not even surprising us anymore. And they get an answer. Yeah. What I like from Dagoretti, they don't force the three. They just went for the two. They go for the two. Good defense. Aston. Good defense from Aston. Couldn't get the ball. But that was some very good defense. Again, Aston again. Aston again. Will he throw it down? He was scared. Ooh. Oh, what a good what a, what a... 47, 46. 47, 46. Yeah. Again, it's 48, 47 in favor of Dagoretti. And Aston again with another steal. Yeah. And a pass to Rodman. And Rodman with a finish. With this game, what a game between these two kids. Dagoretti takes it. It will be a, a tough decision to decide the MVP. The MVP. Between it's Aston between Aston and, and Rodman. And Rodman. Another steal ah, again. Two. Going for the big thing. Ah, leaders gave us a layup. The I fans are standing up. Yeah. Everyone expected him to throw the hammer down. And he stepped out. And as you can see, it was another steal. Another steal. And right now, uh, they've, looks stepped like, up, they've stepped up their defense. Looks like highway are crumbling down. There goes Awet. Awet. Uh, 
What are three? Basket no good. They still controlling the rebound and gave it away. Highway with it. Rockman is leaking. Rockman is leaking. No Look good. at. As you can see, he's not even coming for defense. He's not coming for defense. He knows. He knows. <laughs> There goes Aston. With Aston. a bucket. Aston is now operating. He's now operating. He is now operating. 54 47. Biggest, seven points. biggest lead of the game. Biggest lead of the game for Dagoretti. And I think Dagoretti have now uh have now uh, started. I've now started using their strengths. Five forty-seven to play. Five forty-seven to play. Before we go to the big match. Fifty-four forty-seven. Uh, can you take some early prediction for the next game? Early predictions. Uh, I, I let you go first. I think the home team will win. Nairobi home, Sintana. Home team will win? Yeah. Uh, you are putting me in a very tough spot. <laughs> <laughs> I, I will give my predictions. There goes the treasurer for the Kenyan Basketball Federation. So everyone is coming. Everyone is in. The Honorable Peter Orero. Orero. In the building. In the building. And I think today we need to have a word with him. Yeah, we are going to have a word with him. Because he, he's a former principal Dagoretti High. Yeah. So I think the Dagoretti team is happy to see their former principal in yes, the house. Yes, yes. And I and think then, highway, highway, highway should uh, go let, back to what they were doing yeah. in the first half, which they have uh, stopped doing. They are not sharing the ball. They are not uh, moving the defense. Their offense is stuck. And Dagoretti are now just having their way. They are having their way. They are having their way. It's uh, becoming too easy. But I think having their former principal here is some motivation. Motivation to. Jose, oh, what a move from Jose. Jose. That is the little man doing the big things. Jose giving us a show. 49. 56, 49. Yeah. In favor of Dagoretti. And I think uh, five minutes to go. The fans are coming in. They're coming in hot. The ladies looking good. I see uh, Sarah Chan in the building. Toronto Raptors. Toronto Raptors scout. Sarah Chan in the building. Also in the building we have uh, very many dignitaries from the ministry. What a shot. No good. Dagoretti are playing very well. And it's another then I don't know I don't know what Highway is doing right now. Not boxing out. Not contesting threes. They look, to go. they look like they have already thrown in the towel. I think they should try to look for Jose Amo. Jose is uh, the, the only one who seems to be hot. Shooting a three, no good. That's rebound. One. rebound good. 51-56. 51-56. That's a five-point five point game. 
Aston with a three. Aston. And he shows it. Just say it. I that boy, that boy says he's coming to take the MVP trophy. And nobody is going to stop him. I wait. 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 And right now, Aston again. Basketball no good. But Aston said, I'm now Steph. He's doing it with a lot of confidence. And it's very good to see. There goes Awet. Awet to the ball. And he takes it all the way. And gets a foul. 59-53. Six points. There goes Awet. Uh, if I was the Dagoretti coach, I would have called a timeout just to tell the team we don't need to rush. Yes. There's no short clock. We have three minutes. We have a six point lead. We let us just go one play at a, at time. a time. And he makes the second one. Aston again. Ah. Going to the line. And Aston is playing beyond his ears. <laughs> He's playing well beyond his ears. Yeah, and uh, we're having fans questioning his age. Yeah, some fans are saying uh, he's a bit questionable, but I think it's because he has a, he has a high basketball IQ. IQ yeah. That is why some of the fans can't understand why he's that good at that age. He's a very young man, as you can see. Ah, Jose is injured. Jose is injured. And I think that should uh, cause trouble to the highway bench. Yeah, that is not a good sign. Medication on the sideline. But we are hoping to see him back yeah. in. He's a young man, uh, strong and energetic. Of course, he's shaken up a bit, but he's going to come back. Aston missed both. Highway with it. And it's a turnover. Aston again. Aston, Aston is the lefty, and Aston, Aston is the uh, the second the other player. And there goes the roadman now. Aston again, trying to get the tough basket, but he couldn't get it. I wait, I wait, all the way. You can't stop him. 61-56. And uh, I think I think Awet is very dangerous when he comes down the lane. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a freak train. He's like LeBron James. Dagoretti are now composed. They are composed playing some uh, very mature basketball. Wait to the three. With the three. I went to the big three. And that is 61 59. That is a clutch shot. With two minutes to go. Two minutes to go. It looks like he has said they are not out of this contest. He's carrying them. He's carrying them. Putting the whole team on his back. And I think they should look for him more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Dagoretti have no answers for it. Another three. And Awet looks like he's calling for the ball. Basket no good. If you make both free throw, is a, it's going to be. It's going to be a. He needs to make more. And it's 152 to go. These are very clutch free throws. Needs both. And he missed the first one. He missed the first. If he misses this, I wait to miss that rebound. Misses the second one, they have the rebound. As the Aston, they give a turnover. Should now take his time. Take his time. Organize, the time. Organize your troops. Yeah, 
And that's a dagger. 64, 63, 59. Another turnover. Missed the basket. Now I wait. Let's see what he can do. Three. In and out. They needed it. They needed it. They needed that three. Missed on the other side. Attacking alone. Three points. I wait with it. Basket and one. And he gets the basket and one. And it has been a wet. It has been a wet. He has been the main man. He has been the main man. And still showing us. Still showing us who the real MVP is. And now it's a it's a one point game. It's a one point game. We call it. We are just wasting the time. We call it. Hey. Oh. Oh. Man. Oh. What a drive! What a drive! I want to shoot, shoot a three point. Three will try it again. Three will try it again. A three will try it. No good. Everybody got it wrong there. Everybody got it wrong. Aston is now controlling the tempo. And uh, they are now just killing the time. We thought Awet was going to get the final play. On that three, I don't know what happened. He has been yeah, the man. That's a good foul. That's a good foul. To stop the clock. Uh, if it's bonus, they go to the line. If it's bonus. If it's, if it's bonus and they don't make a shot, we have a game. We have a game in our hands. But we called it earlier. Yeah, we yeah, said yeah. it was going to be a very close contest. I've and been impressed with Dagoretti in the second half. They, they upped their tempo. Yeah, we, we said they'll go, work out their issues, yeah. and come back a different team. And I think uh, they were down like 11 or 11, 12. Yes, yes. But they composed themselves. Uh, for highway, they are going to blame themselves if they lose this. Yes. Uh, uh, I think my thing for me, for the coach of highway, I call another timeout immediately after the shots. Yes. If he makes the second one. Yes. But if he miss, you want the ball in Awet's hand. Awet's hand. Because he, he can stretch the floor. Yeah. And he can still uh, drive in. So uh, it's going to be interesting. Let's see what the final play is going to be. And uh, funny enough, now the coaches are now calling timeout. So it's I it's now it's a game final. of chess. Yeah. It has lived to its billing. In favor of Dagoretti. Aston has been the man. Oh, it's a side ball. Foul, just foul. And there we go. Nine seconds, Nine seconds to go. Awet has fouled out. Awet has fouled out. And now that, that puts them in a very uh, tricky, tricky situation. situation. Awet has fouled out and Ozea is injured. Maybe we are going to have an unsung hero. <laughs> the final nice play might come from an unlikely source. Ah, this is over. But not, not and they really threw in the towel. And Dagoretti High School. Are the Dagoretti High School. Under 19. Are the under 19. Champs. Kenya Academy of Sports. Talanta Hela. Basketball Tournament Champions 2024. Dagoretti High School. Hosea is crying. Battling from behind. Can't believe. They came in. Aston. 
of who I'm sure is going to be the MVP. MVP. He has been a key piece of that Dagoretti team. And I think uh, Dagoretti showed their level of maturity in this game. They composed themselves. Uh, from the second half, they got their act together. Uh, I'm sure they listened to what their coaches were telling them. Yeah. And they came and executed. What a game from Dagoretti. A good comeback win for them. A good comeback win. Uh, once they took the lead, I think it was were, all over. They were mature enough to slow down the game. Yes, and they controlled the and tempo. Controlled the tempo. Big shout out, I think, to Aston. Big shout out to Aston. He, he I has, think, he's the leader. He of, has been phenomenal in this game. In of that pack, the Dagoretti High. Yeah, the, the, all the players were running through him, and he delivered today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Gave us a show. A tough loss for Jose. I would, I would love to see some of these kids uh, transitioning to the next level. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we can see the type of basketball they are playing. Uh, very good, mature basketball. And now we are going for the trophy presentation. And uh, I think after after this, we'll have we'll have people go out so yes. that they come in. If you have a wrist, yeah, you have to get your 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 wristband for the next game. Uh, I think everyone is going to walk outside after the trophy presentation. It's now the award ceremony. Wait, but you go live. Iki to tuanze. 
Ei, 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 For the more much anticipated. So, uh, Uko yani bado hajamaliza kupeana nini za shule tena watoke wote hey. Let's have 